The median is the value separating the higher half from the lower half of a data sample a population or a probability distribution. For a data set, it may be thought of as the middle value. For example, in the data set 1, 3, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, the median is 6, the fourth largest, and also the fourth smallest, number in the sample. For a continuous probability distribution, the median is the value such that a number is equally likely to fall above or below it. The median is a commonly used measure of the properties of a data set in statistics and probability theory. The basic advantage of the median in describing data compared to the mean often simply described as the average is that it is not skewed so much by a small proportion of extremely large or small values, and so it may give a better idea of a «typical» value. For example, in understanding statistics like household income or assets, which vary greatly, the mean may be skewed by a small number of extremely high or low values. Median income, for example, may be a better way to suggest what a «typical» income is. Because of this, the median is of central importance in robust statistics, as it is the most resistant statistic, having a breakdown point of 50%. So long as no more than half the data are contaminated, the median will not give an arbitrarily large or small result. Topic: <laughs> Finite set of numbers. The median of a finite list of numbers can be found by arranging all the numbers from smallest to greatest. If there is an odd number of numbers, the middle one is picked. For example, consider the list of numbers 1, 3, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. This list contains seven numbers. The median is the fourth of them, which is 6. If there is an even number of observations, then there is no single middle value, the median is then usually defined to be the mean of the two middle values. For example, in the data set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9 the median is the mean of the middle two numbers, this is 4 plus 5 2 Display style four plus five two, which is four point five. Display style four point five. In more technical terms, this interprets the median as the fully trimmed mid-range. The formula used to find the index of the middle number of a data set of n numerically ordered numbers is n plus one. 2 display style n plus 1 2 this either gives the middle number for an odd number of values or the halfway point between the two middle values for example with 14 values the formula will give an index of 7.5 and the median will be taken by averaging the seventh the floor of this index and eighth the ceiling of this index values so the median can be represented by the following formula M E D I A N A equals A hash X plus one divided by two plus a hash x plus one divided by two two Display style mathram median a equals frac a underscore l floor hash x plus one div two r floor plus a underscore l c e i l hash x plus one div two r seal two one can find the median using the stem and leaf plot. 
There is no widely accepted standard notation for the median, but some authors represent the median of a variable x either as x, or as mu one half sometimes also m. In any of these cases, the use of these or other symbols for the median needs to be explicitly defined when they are introduced. The median is used primarily for skewed distributions, which it summarizes differently from the arithmetic mean. Consider the multiset 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 14. The median is 2 in this case, as is the mode, and it might be seen as a better indication of central tendency less susceptible to the exceptionally large value in data than the arithmetic mean of 4. The median is a popular summary statistic used in descriptive statistics, since it is simple to understand and easy to calculate, while also giving a measure that is more robust in the presence of outlier values than is the mean. The widely cited empirical relationship between the relative locations of the mean and the median for skewed distributions is, however, not generally true. There are, however, various relationships for the absolute difference between them, see below. With an even number of observations as shown above, no value need be exactly at the value of the median. Nonetheless, the value of the median is uniquely determined with the usual definition. A related concept, in which the outcome is forced to correspond to a member of the sample, is the medoid. In a population, at most half have values strictly less than the median and at most half have values strictly greater than it. If each group contains less than half the population, then some of the population is exactly equal to the median. For example, if a a median is only defined on ordered one-dimensional data, and is independent of any distance metric. A geometric median, on the other hand, is defined in any number of dimensions. The median is one of a number of ways of summarizing the typical values associated with members of a statistical population, thus, it is a possible location parameter. The median is the second quartile, fifth decile, and fiftieth percentile. Since the median is the same as the second quartile, its calculation is illustrated in the article on quartiles. A median can be worked out for ranked but not numerical classes e.g. working out a median grade when students are graded from A to F, although the result might be halfway between grades if there is an even number of cases. When the median is used as a location parameter in descriptive statistics, there are several choices for a measure of variability, the range, the interquartile range, the mean absolute deviation, and the median absolute deviation. For practical purposes, different measures of location and dispersion are often compared on the basis of how well the corresponding population values can be estimated from a sample of data. The median, estimated using the sample median, has good properties in this regard. While it is not usually optimal if a given population distribution is assumed, its properties are always reasonably good. For example, a comparison of the efficiency of candidate estimators shows that the sample mean is more statistically efficient than the sample median when data are uncontaminated by data from heavy-tailed distributions or from mixtures of distributions, but less efficient otherwise, and that the efficiency of the sample median is higher than that for a wide range of distributions. More specifically, the median has a 64% efficiency compared to the minimum variance mean for large normal samples, which is to say the variance of the median will be approximately 50% greater than the variance of the mean, see asymptotic efficiency and references therein. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Probability distributions. For any probability distribution on the real line R with cumulative distribution function f, regardless of whether it is any kind of continuous probability distribution, in particular an absolutely continuous distribution, which has a probability density function, or a discrete probability distribution, a median is by definition any real number m that satisfies the inequalities 
P X M one two and P X M one two Display style operator name P X L E Q M G E Q frac one two text and operator name P X G E Q M G E Q frac one two or equivalently the inequalities minus infinity M D F X one two and M infinity D F X one two display style int underscore inf t m d f x g e q frac one two text and int underscore m inf t d f x g e q frac one two in which a Lebesgue Stilchus integral is used. For an absolutely continuous probability distribution with probability density function f, the median satisfies p x m equals p x m equals minus infinity m f x d x equals 1 2 Display style operator name P X L E Q M equals operator name P X G E Q M equals int underscore inf T carrot M F X D X equals frac one two Any probability distribution on R has at least one median, but in specific cases there may be more than one median. Specifically, if a probability density is zero on an interval a, b, and the cumulative distribution function at a is one half, any value between a and b will also be a median. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Medians of particular distributions. The medians of certain types of distributions can be easily calculated from their parameters, furthermore, they exist even for some distributions lacking a well-defined mean, such as the Cauchy distribution. The median of a symmetric unimodal distribution coincides with the mode. The median of a symmetric distribution which possesses a mean mu also takes the value μ. The median of a normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma 2 is mu. In fact, for a normal distribution, mean topic <inaudible> median mode the median of a uniform distribution in the interval a b is a plus b 2, which is also the mean. The median of a Cauchy distribution with location parameter x0 and scale parameter y is x0, the location parameter. The median of a power law distribution x minus a with exponent a greater than 1 is 21, a minus 1 x min, where x min is the minimum value for which the power law holds. The median of an exponential distribution with rate parameter lambda is the natural logarithm of 2 divided by the rate parameter, lambda minus 1 lane 2. The median of a Weibull distribution with shape parameter k and scale parameter lambda is lambda lane 2 1 k. Topic. Populations. Topic. Optimality property The mean absolute error of a real variable C with respect to the random variable X is E X minus C D 
display style left x c right provided that the probability distribution of x is such that the above expectation exists, then m is a median of x if and only if m is a minimizer of the mean absolute error with respect to x. In particular, m is a sample median if and only if m minimizes the arithmetic mean of the absolute deviations. More generally, a median is defined as a minimum of e x Minus c minus x display style x c x as discussed below in the section on multivariate medians, specifically the spatial median. This optimization-based definition of the median is useful in statistical data analysis, for example, in k-medians clustering. Topic: Unimodal distributions. It can be shown for a unimodal distribution that the median x tilde display style tilde x and the mean x display style bar x lie within three fifths one half approximately equals 0 0.7746 standard deviations of each other in symbols x tilde minus x Sigma 3 5 1 2 Display style frac left tilde x bar x right sigma leq left frac three five right carrot frac one two. Where is the absolute value? A similar relation holds between the median and the mode. They lie within thirty one halves, approximately equals one seven hundred and thirty two standard deviations of each other. X tilde minus m o d e sigma 3 1 2 display style frac tilde x mathrm mode sigma leq 3 caret frac 1 2 topic Inequality relating means and medians If the distribution has finite variance, then the distance between the median and the mean is bounded by one standard deviation. This bound was proved by Mallows, who used Jensen's inequality twice, as follows. We have mu minus m equals e x minus m e x minus m e x minus mu e x minus mu 2 equals Sigma display style begin aligned mu m equals operator name e x m and leq operator name e x m and leq operator name e x mu and leq sqrt operator name e left x mu carrot two right equals sigma end aligned the first and third inequalities come from Jensen's inequality applied to the absolute value function and the square function, which are each convex. The second inequality comes from the fact that a median minimizes the absolute deviation function i.e., x minus a. Display style of Mapsto operator name e x a. This proof also follows directly from Cantley's inequality. 
the result can be generalized to obtain a multivariate version of the inequality, as follows: mu minus m equals e x minus m e x minus m e x minus mu e x minus mu two equals trace var x display style begin aligned mu m equals operator name e x m and leq operator name e x m and leq operator name e X mu and leq sqrt operator name e left x mu carrot two right equals sqrt operator name trace left operator name var x right end aligned where m is a spatial median that is a minimizer of the function a x minus a display style of maps to operator name e x a the spatial median is unique when the data set's dimension is two or more. An alternative proof uses the one-sided Chebyshev inequality, it appears in an inequality on location and scale parameters. <laughs> Jensen's inequality for medians Jensen's inequality states that for any random variable x with a finite expectation e x and for any convex function f f e x e f x display style f e x l e q e f x it has been shown that if x is a real variable with a unique median m and f is a c function then f m median f x display style f m l e q operator name median f x a c function is a real valued function defined on the set of real numbers r with the property that for any real t F minus one minus infinity T equals X element of R F X T Display style f carrot minus one left in T T right equals X in R mid F X L E Q T is a closed interval, a singleton or an empty set. Topic: Medians for samples. Topic: The sample median. Topic: Efficient computation of the sample median Even though comparison sorting n items requires omega n log n operations, selection algorithms can compute the kth smallest of n items with only theta n operations. This includes the median, which is the n th order statistic, or for an even number of samples, the arithmetic mean of the two middle order statistics. Selection algorithms still have the downside of requiring omega n memory, that is, they need to have the full sample or a linear-sized portion of it in memory. Because this, as well as the linear time requirement, can be prohibitive, several estimation procedures for the median have been developed. A simple one is the median of three rule, which estimates the median as the median of a three-element subsample. This is commonly used as a subroutine in the quicksort sorting algorithm, which uses an estimate of its input's median. A more robust estimator is Tukey's ninth, which is the median of three rule applied with limited recursion. If A is the sample laid out as an array, and med three a equals median a one a n two a n, then ninth a equals med three med three a one one third n med three a one third n. Two thirds n med three a two thirds n. 
n the remedian is an estimator for the median that requires linear time but sublinear memory operating in a single pass over the sample equals topic easy explanation of the sample median equals in individual series if number of observation is very low first one must arrange all the observations in order then count n is the total number of observation in given data if n is odd then median m equals value of n plus 1 2 th item term if n is even then median m equals value of n 2 th item term plus n 2 plus 1 th item term 2 for an odd number of values as an example we will calculate the sample median for the following set of observations 1 5 2 8 7 start by sorting the values 1 2 5 7 8 in this case, the median is 5 since it is the middle observation in the ordered list. The median is the n plus 1, 2 th item, where n is the number of values. For example, for the list 1, 2, 5, 7, 8, we have n equals 5, so the median is the 5 plus 1, 2 th item. Median equals 6 halves th item median equals third item median equals 5 for an even number of values as an example we will calculate the sample median for the following set of observations 1 6 2 8 7 2 start by sorting the values 1 2 2 6 7 8 in this case the arithmetic mean of the two middlemost terms is 2 plus 6 2 equals 4. Therefore, the median is 4 since it is the arithmetic mean of the middle observations in the ordered list. Sampling distribution the distributions of both the sample mean and the sample median were determined by Laplace. The distribution of the sample median from a population with a density function f x display style f x is asymptotically normal with mean m display style m and variance one four n f m two Display style frac one four and f m carrot two where m display style m is the median of f x display style f x and n display style n is the sample size. These results have also been extended. It is now known for the p display style p th quantile that the distribution of the sample p display style p th quantile is asymptotically normal around the p display style p th quantile with variance equal to p one minus P N F X P two Display style frac P one P N F X underscore P carrot two where F X P Display style F X underscore P is the value of the distribution density at the p display style p th quantile in the case of a discrete variable the sampling distribution of the median for small samples can be investigated as follows we take the sample size to be an odd number 
n equals 2 n plus 1 display style n equals 2 n plus 1 if a given value v display style v is to be the median of the sample then two conditions must be satisfied the first is that at most n display style n observations can have a value of v minus 1 display style v1 or less the second is that at most n display style n observations can have a value of v plus 1 display style v plus 1 or more let i display style i be the number of observations which have a value of v minus 1 display style v1 or less and let k display style k be the number of observations which have a value of v plus 1 display style v plus 1 or more then i display style i and k display style k both have a minimum value of 0 and a maximum of n display style n if an observation has a value below v display style v it is not relevant how far below v display style v it is and conversely if an observation has a value above v display style v it is not relevant how far above v display style v it is we can therefore represent the observations as following a trinomial distribution with probabilities f v minus 1 display style f v 1 f v display style f v and 1 minus f v display style 1 f v the probability that the median m display style m will have a value v display style v is then given by pr m equals v equals i equals 0 n k equals 0 n n i n minus i minus k k f v minus 1 i f v n minus i minus k 1 minus f v k Display style PR M equals V equals sum underscore I equals zero carrot N sum underscore K equals zero carrot N frac N I N I K K F V one carrot I F V carrot N I K one F V carrot K Summing this over all values of V Display style V defines a proper distribution and gives a unit sum in practice the function f 
v display style f v will often not be known but it can be estimated from an observed frequency distribution an example is given in the following table where the actual distribution is not known but a sample of 3,800 observations allows a sufficiently accurate assessment of f v Using these data it is possible to investigate the effect of sample size on the standard errors of the mean and median. The observed mean is 3.16, the observed raw median is 3 and the observed interpolated median is 3.174. The following table gives some comparison statistics. The standard error of the median is given both from the above expression for p r m equals v display style p r m equals v and from the asymptotic approximation given earlier the expected value of the median falls slightly as sample size increases while as would be expected the standard errors of both the median and the mean are proportionate to the inverse square root of the sample size the asymptotic approximation errs on the side of caution by overestimating the standard error. In the case of a continuous variable, the following argument can be used. If a given value v is to be the median, then one observation must take the value v the elemental probability of this is f v d v display style f v d v then of the remaining 2 n display style 2 n observations exactly n display style n of them must be above v display style v and the remaining n display style n below the probability of this is the n display style n th term of a binomial distribution with parameters f v display style f v and 2 n display style 2 n finally we multiply by 2 n plus 1 display style 2 n plus 1 since any of the observations in the sample can be the median observation hence the elemental probability of the median at the point v display style v is given by f v 2 n n n f v n 1 minus f v n 2 n plus 1 d v display style f v frac 2 n n n f v caret n 1 f v caret n 2 n plus 1 d v now we introduce the beta function for integer arguments alpha display style alpha and beta display style beta this can be expressed as b alpha beta equals alpha minus 1 beta minus 1 alpha plus beta minus 1 
display style mathrm b alpha beta equals alpha minus one beta minus one alpha plus beta minus one. Also, we note that f b equals d f v d v display style f v equals d f v d v using these relationships and setting both alpha display style alpha and beta display style beta equal to n plus 1 display style n plus 1 allows the last expression to be written as f v n 1 minus f v n b n plus 1 n plus 1 d f v display style frac f v caret n 1 f v caret n mathrm b n plus 1 n plus 1 d f v Hence the density function of the median is a symmetric beta distribution over the unit interval which supports f v display style f v its mean as we would expect is 0 5 and its variance is 1 4 n plus 2 display style 1 4 n plus 2 the corresponding variance of the sample median is 1 4 n plus 2 f m 2 display style frac 1 4 n plus 2 f m caret 2 However this finding can only be used if the density function f v display style f v is known or can be assumed as this will not always be the case the median variance has to be estimated sometimes from the sample data estimation of variance from sample data the value of 2 f x minus 2 display style 2f x caret minus 2 the asymptotic value of n minus 1 2 new minus m display style n caret frac 1 2 new m where new display style new is the population median has been studied by several authors the standard delete one jackknife method produces inconsistent results an alternative the delete k method where k display style k grows with the sample size has been shown to be asymptotically consistent this method may be computationally expensive for large data sets. A bootstrap estimate is known to be consistent, but converges very slowly. Order of n minus one four display style n caret frac one four. Other methods have been proposed, but their behavior may differ between large and small samples. Efficiency the efficiency of the sample median, measured as the ratio of the variance of the mean to the variance of the median, depends on the sample size and on the underlying population distribution. For a sample of size n equals 2 n plus 1 display style n equals 2 n plus 1 
from the normal distribution, the efficiency for large n is 2 pi n plus 2 n Display style frac 2 pi frac n plus 2 n. The efficiency tends to 2 pi. Display style frac 2 pi as n. Display style n tends to infinity. Topic: Other estimators. For univariate distributions that are symmetric about one median, the Hodges-Lehman estimator is a robust and highly efficient estimator of the population median, if data are represented by a statistical model specifying a particular family of probability distributions, then estimates of the median can be obtained by fitting that family of probability distributions to the data and calculating the theoretical median of the fitted distribution. Pareto interpolation is an application of this when the population is assumed to have a Pareto distribution. Topic: Coefficient of dispersion. The coefficient of dispersion (Cd) is defined as the ratio of the average absolute deviation from the median to the median of the data. It is a statistical measure used by the states of Iowa, New York and South Dakota in estimating dues taxes. In symbols C D equals 1 N M minus X M display style C D equals frac 1 N frac sum M X M where n is the sample size, m is the sample median and x is a variate. The sum is taken over the whole sample. Confidence intervals for a two-sample test in which the sample sizes are large have been derived by Bonnet and Sayer. This test assumes that both samples have the same median but differ in the dispersion around it. The confidence interval CI, is bounded inferiorly by exp log t a t b minus z alpha var log t a t b 1 2 Display style exp left log left frac t underscore a t underscore b right z underscore alpha left operator name var left log left frac t underscore a t underscore b right 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 carrot frac one two right where t j is the mean absolute deviation of the jth sample, v a r is the variance and z alpha is the value from the normal distribution for the chosen value of alpha, for alpha. Topic 0.05, z alpha 1.9 the following formulae are used in the derivation of these confidence intervals VAR log T A equals 1 N S A 2 T A 2 plus X A Minus x t a two minus one display style operator name var log t underscore a equals frac one n left frac s underscore a carrot two t underscore a carrot two plus left frac x underscore a bar x t underscore a right carrot two minus one right 
var log t a t b equals var log t a plus var log t b minus 2 r var log t a var log t b 1 2 Display style operator name VAR left log left frac T underscore A T underscore B right right equals operator name VAR log T underscore a plus operator name VAR log T underscore B two R operator name VAR log T underscore a operator name VAR log T underscore B carrot frac one two where r is the Pearson correlation coefficient between the squared deviation scores d i a equals x i a minus x a display style d underscore Iowa equals x underscore Iowa bar x underscore a and D I B equals X I B minus X B display style D underscore I B equals X underscore I B bar X underscore B a and B here are constants equal to 1 and 2, X is a variate and S is the standard deviation of the sample. Multivariate median Previously, this article discussed the univariate median, when the sample or population had one dimension. When the dimension is two or higher, there are multiple concepts that extend the definition of the univariate median, each such multivariate median agrees with the univariate median when the dimension is exactly one. <laughs> Marginal median The marginal median is defined for vectors defined with respect to a fixed set of coordinates. A marginal median is defined to be the vector whose components are univariate medians. The marginal median is easy to compute, and its properties were studied by Puri and Sen. Center point. An alternative generalization of the median in higher dimensions is the center point. Other median-related concepts Interpolated median When dealing with a discrete variable, it is sometimes useful to regard the observed values as being midpoints of underlying continuous intervals. An example of this is a Likert scale, on which opinions or preferences are expressed on a scale with a set number of possible responses. If the scale consists of the positive integers, an observation of 3 might be regarded as representing the interval from 2.50 to 3.50. It is possible to estimate the median of the underlying variable. If, say, 22% of the observations are of value 2 or below and 55.0% are of 3 or below so 33% have the value 3, then the median M display style M is 3 since the median is the smallest value of x display style x 
for which f x display style f x is greater than a half but the interpolated median is somewhere between 2.50 and 3.50 first we add half of the interval width w display style w to the median to get the upper bound of the median interval then we subtract that proportion of the interval width which equals the proportion of the 33% which lies above the 50% mark. In other words, we split up the interval width pro rata to the numbers of observations. In this case, the 33% is split into 28% below the median and 5% above it so we subtract 5 33rds of the interval width from the upper bound of 3.50 to give an interpolated median of 3.35. More formally, if the values f x are known, the interpolated median can be calculated from m int equals m plus w 1 2 minus f m minus 1 2 f m Display style m underscore text int equals m plus w left frac one two frac f m frac one two f m right. Alternatively, if in an observed sample there are k display style k scores above the median category j display style j scores in it an I display style I scores below it, then the interpolated median is given by m int equals m plus w two k minus I j Display style m underscore text in equals m plus frac w two left frac k i j right. Topic pseudo median. For univariate distributions that are symmetric about one median, the Hodges-Lehman estimator is a robust and highly efficient estimator of the population median. For non-symmetric distributions, the Hodges-Lehman estimator is a robust and highly efficient estimator of the population pseudo-median, which is the median of a symmetrized distribution and which is close to the population median. The Hodges-Lehman estimator has been generalized to multivariate distributions. Topic: Variants of regression. The Thiel-Sen estimator is a method for robust linear regression based on finding medians of slopes. Topic: Median filter In the context of image processing of monochrome raster images there is a type of noise, known as the salt and pepper noise, when each pixel independently becomes black with some small probability or white with some small probability, and is unchanged otherwise with the probability close to one. An image constructed of median values of neighborhoods like 3 times 3 square can effectively reduce noise in this case. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Cluster analysis. In cluster analysis, the k-medians clustering algorithm provides a way of defining clusters, in which the criterion of maximizing the distance between cluster means that is used in k-means clustering, is replaced by maximizing the distance between cluster medians. Median-median line 
This is a method of robust regression. The idea dates back to Wald in 1940 who suggested dividing a set of bivariate data into two halves depending on the value of the independent parameter x x a left half with values less than the median and a right half with values greater than the median. He suggested taking the means of the dependent y display style y and independent x display style x variables of the left and the right halves and estimating the slope of the line joining these two points the line could then be adjusted to fit the majority of the points in the data set Nair and Srivastava in 1942 suggested a similar idea but instead advocated dividing the sample into three equal parts before calculating the means of the subsamples. Brown and Mood in 1951 proposed the idea of using the medians of two subsamples rather than means. Tukey combined these ideas and recommended dividing the sample into three equal size subsamples and estimating the line based on the medians of the subsamples. <laughs> Median unbiased estimators Any mean unbiased estimator minimizes the risk expected loss with respect to the squared error loss function, as observed by Gauss. A median unbiased estimator minimizes the risk with respect to the absolute deviation loss function, as observed by Laplace. Other loss functions are used in statistical theory, particularly in robust statistics. The theory of median unbiased estimators was revived by George W. Brown in 1947. An estimate of a one-dimensional parameter θ will be said to be median unbiased if, for fixed θ, the median of the distribution of the estimate is at the value θ, i.e., the estimate underestimates just as often as it overestimates. This requirement seems for most purposes to accomplish as much as the mean unbiased requirement and has the additional property that it is invariant under one-to-one -one transformation. Further properties of median unbiased estimators have been reported. Median unbiased estimators are invariant under one-to-one -one transformations. There are methods of construction median unbiased estimators that are optimal in a sense analogous to minimum variance property considered for mean unbiased estimators. Such constructions exist for probability distributions having monotone likelihood functions. One such procedure is an analog of the Rao Blackwell procedure for mean unbiased estimators. The procedure holds for a smaller class of probability distributions than does the Rao. Blackwell procedure but for a larger class of loss functions. History The idea of the median appeared in the 13th century in the Talmud further for possible older mentions. The idea of the median also appeared later in Edward Wright's book on navigation, Certain Errors in Navigation, in 1599 in a section concerning the determination of location with a compass. Wright felt that this value was the most likely to be the correct value in a series of observations. In 1757, Roger Joseph Boscovich developed a regression method based on the L1 norm and therefore implicitly on the median. In 1774, Laplace suggested the median be used as the standard estimator of the value of a posterior PDF. The specific criterion was to minimize the expected magnitude of the error alpha minus alpha Display style alpha alpha carrot asterisk where alpha display style alpha carrot asterisk is the estimate and alpha display style alpha is the true value. 
Laplace's criterion was generally rejected for 150 years in favor of the least squares method of Gauss and Legendre, which minimizes alpha minus alpha two. Display style alpha alpha carrot asterisk carrot two to obtain the mean. The distribution of both the sample mean and the sample median were determined by Laplace in the early 1800s. Antoine Augustin Cournot in 1843 was the first to use the term median valor median for the value that divides a probability distribution into two equal halves. Gustav Theodor Fechner used the median central worth in sociological and psychological phenomena. It had earlier been used only in astronomy and related fields. Gustav Fechner popularized the median into the formal analysis of data, although it had been used previously by Laplace. Francis Galton used the English term median in 1881, having earlier used the terms middle most value in 1869, and the medium in 1880. See also Medoids which are a generalization of the median in higher dimensions Central tendency Mean Mode Absolute deviation Bias of an estimator Concentration of measure for Lipschitz functions Median geometry Median graph Median search Median slope Median voter theory Weighted median